Hey everyone, Tom here, and today I have been spending some time with the Xbox Elite Series 2 controller. I have been waiting for this controller for what feels like forever. I've thought pretty much ever since they revamped the regular Xbox controllers that they do a revamp of the Elite as well. And so pretty 2016, 2017, 2018, I thought pretty much every year we would get an Elite but we got one in 2019 and it was worth the wait. This thing is legitimately badass. If you would like to see a complete unboxing of this controller, you can go over to our Patreon and join our lovely patrons there to view a whole 20 minute opening, unboxing, all of that jazz, as well as tons of other awesome content we make for our patrons. So that is patreon.com forward slash unranked podcast. There should be a link you can see right now in the top of this video as well as below the video itself. But this video that we are doing right now is briefly going to go over what's in the case as well as my impressions after playing some Apex Legends with this controller. So when you open up the box, you will find the carrying case with the Elite Series 2 inside. Underneath the Series 2 controller is this lovely charging block, that's right. This case doubles as a charger for the Elite Series 2. The Elite Series 2 charges via USB-C, which is very welcome as so many things now use USB-C in my life. And I'm glad that Microsoft did not wait until Scarlet and Next Gen to put USB-C on their premium controller. The cable it comes with is also extremely long. It's threaded. It's a really high quality cable. They did a really good job with that, very happy about that. What they also did a good job with is how versatile this case is. Because not only can you just put the controller down in the case and charge it, you can actually remove the charging block and have it separate from the case itself. So if you have a cluttered desk or you don't want the charging case on the desk at all times, you can still just have that small block and put it down. It's almost as if there's nothing underneath the controller and it's charging. It's fantastic. Below the controller, you have a couple of other things, some accoutrement, if you will. You have two thumbsticks that are also concave, like the ones that come pre-installed on the controller. However, these ones are very smooth. They do not have the grip around the rim. That's probably just like a personal preference kind of thing. Uh, maybe you have sensitive thumbs, I don't know. Then there's also another grip, like concave thumbstick, like the ones that come installed, but it's much taller. And then there's also a convex thumbstick that has these concentric circles for grip. So, you know, play around, see what feels best for you. I just like the ones that come installed, but you know, you might be different. There is also a regular D-pad. The one that comes installed on the control itself is a dish based thing. What is really neat is the thing that's in the middle and that is a key, essentially. And what you can do is pop the thumbsticks off and there's going to be a little X that you can stick the key into and ratchet up the tension. There are two kind of forms of tension. There's the basic level, there's a one level above that, and then there's even tighter level than that. Uh, and we'll get back to how this plays when you're actually using the controller. On the back, you have switches to toggle the hairpin triggers. Uh, so you can have kind of half the travel, or this is now brand new to the Elite Series 2, you can have about a quarter of the travel which means very, very small movements, very little travel on the triggers. It is quite astounding how little movement there is. Underneath those switches, you have those four paddles and you can remap all of your face buttons, which means that while you're playing the game, you can have all your face buttons on the back and do all the things you need to do there without removing your fingers from the thumbsticks. And then quickly, if we do go back to the front, there is a button that allows you to switch profiles. And this again is a slight improvement over the Elite Series 1. The Elite Series 1 only had two hardware programmable profiles that you could switch between. This one has three. So this is all great in theory, but how does this play? I gotta say, I was very, very impressed. When I first ratcheted the tension on the thumbsticks, it didn't feel that different to me, just kind of flicking them. You could feel the difference, but it didn't feel like it would make a difference, if that makes any sense. But when I jumped into a game of Apex, you can see right here, uh, when I'm tracking this character, I am with him the whole time. My aim is not wavering. I know exactly where I want to aim, and the controller is responding exactly how I want it to. 
This is only possible because I've ratcheted the sensitivity really high and I've turned the tension on the thumbsticks up all the way, which means I can make really quick movements, but I can also make really precise movements. And it really helped us win this match of Apex Legends. This next comparison is one where I'm on defense. I'm getting my ass kicked and I just need to get out. I didn't have any good weapons. There were three people on me. It was a nightmare, but I was able to escape because I was able to aim and move and also do a bunch of things like hop onto this rope and shoot up without having to hit X. So many times you'll find yourself in a game and you're trying to do something, but the controller is just not responding in the way that you want it to. You're just not being able to do what you want because of the limitations of the controller. That is not the case here with the Elite Series 2, so I highly recommend you check this out if you play a lot of games, if you play things like Apex Legends or any kind of first-person shooter fighting games. There are so many instances where those can be helpful. If you're a casual gamer who plays kind of slow games, non-competitive games, maybe this isn't for you, but I totally think that it is worth every penny of that $180.